Touchdown reception. How much is that the former basketball player you to be able to go up and get jump balls? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, uh, playing basketball my whole life, I think one of the main things I got out of it was being able to go up and high, po high point the ball. Some of you like rebounding and dunking, stuff like that. So I, th I credit basketball to a lot of that ability that I've gotten. You know what your vertical lead actually is? Uh, I'm not completely sure. I'm sure it's around like 38, 40. What, I mean, how excited were you in that moment? And obviously, you got a little bit of a talk from Davo after. Right. But like, how much was that just the excitement of what just happened? Yeah, you know, it was, it was a really exciting moment. I think uh, my emotions probably got the best of me a little bit. But being in that competitive environment just you know, I, I got to do a better job controlling my emotions, but yeah, just in that environment, it's, it's tough and something I'll learn from in the future. Are you one of those guys that likes to trash talk on the field? Uh, no, not really. I really I really don't talk at all, so I just go out there and do my, my game, do the talking, and then that's pretty much it. But. I guess what? like when that adrenaline's running through you. Right, yeah, when, when the adrenaline's going and the crowd's screaming at you, you know, it just, it just kind of happens sometimes, so. What was the mindset at halftime going into that second half when offense really got it going? What were y'all thinking? Yeah, you know, the defense played great the whole game, so we just wanted to go out there and get some points on the board and help them out. Coach Riley gave us a great message, challenges at halftime, and so we just went out the second half, just played our game, and just executed. And has been talked about Cade's development physically as a quarterback um, since last year. Uh, but Dabo keeps talking about the leader that he is. And even when he wasn't playing well in the first half of that game, he was still the best leader out there on the field. Can you shine a light on what Cade is like as a leader, maybe off the field, and then how that kind of changes or grows on the field? Yeah, no, he's been a great leader for us. He brings it in practice every day. Um, in games, he's he's the vocal leader, trying to bring energy to all the guys, fire everybody up. So, I mean, I can't say enough, but I really appreciate the leadership that he's brought to us this year, and it definitely helps a lot. How has he personally helped you, or, or what is your guys' relationship like? Yeah, no, we have a great relationship on and off the field. He's a great guy. But, yeah, you know, he helps me. He's He instills confidence in me. He trusts me. We all trust him. So that's really it. That's really it. It seems like any day, it can be any one of you. He hit so many of you during a game from tight ends, receivers, running back, I mean, all of it. Um, how, how does he have that relationship with all of you? How have you seen him be intentional with that? Yeah, you know, it starts in practice, uh, preparation throughout the week. He's, I mean, try to, eat, try to get reps with everybody. He, uh, he does a great job firing everybody up. Um, making sure everybody stays ready because you never know when your opportunity or your chance to make a play is going to be. So he does a great job just keeping everybody ready. Yes, how would you say the receiver rooms differ just with the depth that you guys have? I mean, some games you're playing maybe 15 snaps, mm -hmm. other games you get 28. Like, how much more competition is there just during the week to even get those snaps? Right, yeah, no, it's, yeah, we, I mean, we're competing all year long in practice, and it's just great. I mean, I love this environment we have. This is, we have a really deep room at receivers. So, I mean, we have so many guys that can go out there and make plays. And so it's just, again, being ready for your opportunity and going out there and just making the most of it when you're on the field. Okay, so you feel like there's anything you did in the week of practice leading up that kind of gave you that opportunity to play more snaps and make a play like that? No, I, I just re regular practice. I mean, we, I try to bring it every week. So, I mean, just some games, you your opportunity comes a little bit more than others, but yeah, I'd say the preparation and practice uh, remains the same for me. How do you guys approach things when you continue to put together, I mean, that first drive I think of at Virginia Tech, 15 plays, mm -hmm. but, and I know it ended up in a turnover, but like you guys have had some of the, those situations where you're putting together these super long drives and then it stalls and we, you guys don't get any points from it. Mm -hmm. How are you guys addressing that as an offense and how do you even begin to address something like that? Yeah, you know, I mean, we, we know what we're, what this offense is capable of. Um, we're able to put long drives like we, we showed in the first half, but we just came down to like poor execution, uh, penalties, stuff like that that stalls drives, which is kind of tough to overcome. 
So just staying consistent with that and just uh, just executing the plays and the calls is really what it comes down to. Any questions for Cole from Zoom? Anyone else in the room? Do you play Fortnite at all? Do I play Fortnite? Yeah. I'm not, I used to, but not anymore. Was there any, was it interesting to see what, if Sammy had that tackle and then the uh, defense does that, did, did you have any idea what they were even doing? I mean, I, I didn't in the moment, but then, I mean, I, I saw him dabbing, so I mean, I, I knew what that was, so, I mean, but yeah, that was, I thought, I thought that was really funny. I was laughing on the sidelines, so, I mean, it, yeah, it just brought, that brought good energy to the whole team, I feel like. Anyone else? Thanks, Cole. All right, thank you.